here and show you um, how terrible our garden looks. <laughs> the tomatoes are finally turning. I got to come out here and pick them, but they're just so slow. A lot of these are yellow and orange. I just got to walk, so I'm breathing a bit hard. The Look at our cabbage. Stunted. There's a few down there that's good. I have no idea. I've heard from so many people in our area that there's Tons of tomatoes, but none are turning. And the production of things are just really bad. So I think I'm going to come out here later today and pick all of these and figure out what we're going to do with them. See how much, how many we have. Um, and then maybe just can some tomatoes or freeze them. But we don't have much freeze. Do you ever look at this world and go, what, what is going on? Everything anymore is just so janky, just so janky like all the time. I always tell you, I just, you know, the expectations of like, I have no expectations anymore of anything ever of anyone doing what they going to do because nobody does. I'm old enough that I remember when everyone did what they said they were going to do. Like if you're in your 30s, do you have you ever known that? Like we said I don't know what would be worse is is if you just expect everything to be janky or if you once knew it was good and now it's janky. I'm just gonna give you an example. I remember when there was a time where any place you would call, you could call a bank, a doctor's office, and you could leave a message and you could say, hey, can you give me a call back? This is what I need. And you would get a call back. Nobody calls back anymore. You, it says, leave a message with a detailed information. Do not call me back. I will take care of this. So you leave detailed information and you hang and immediately, my feeling is it's not going to be done. And it's not done. This is the level of jankiness that I am talking about. I just don't get it. I just think that it is sad that we're, this is our ex, these are our expectations anymore. These are our expectations. I make out my list on Monday and I do my best to cross all of them off. Everyone that I cross off that I've had to either leave a message or rely on someone else, they always wind up back on my list the next week because no one follows through. And I, it's sad and it's disappointing that it has come to this because I remember such different times. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a light bulb moment today. Now, with all of that being said, thank goodness I have surrounded myself in my life with responsible, dependable humans. And I'm so happy about that. On a totally different note, um, I we ordered our Sub-Zero uh, freezer and refrigerator. I mentioned my freezer, so that was on my mind, in January of this year. And I've heard of people being like, in June of last year and still don't have them. So I thought, I'm just going to call and see where we're at on that since it was on my mind. <laughs> he told me, yeah, I placed the order the day after that you left in January. He said, I called them not very long ago and they said it was going to be July. Next July. <laughs> Anyways, he said that he, when he called, the lady said, we did have a cancellation for the exact same thing if you want me to move you up. And he said, yes. So possibly <laughs> We have the perfect marriage. She does not fight me over the tomato juice. <laughs> does anybody else love to drink the juice from the tomatoes? Deb is using this little chopper, and I told her she needed to tell you because it's a great kitchen gadget. 
It is. We used to have one a long time ago and it died and I really missed it. They're so simple. Um, it is a five topper. Let me just show you how nice it works. Watch this. You gonna put your lid on. We have ours yeah. broke. I think yeah. I remember it was like an old school. Now you know the strongest. <laughs> Look at it. This is what it looks like when it's done being chopped with all of these blades. This was way different than the one that we had before. It has way more blades. Um, I'm going to put the link here because I believe it's like under twenty. I wanted to share one of my new favorite products that I got from Tula. It's called Radiant Skin. It is a tinted serum with an SPF of 30. And you can almost get by with wearing this alone. So you can use it as a primer um, or just an SPF. And you're going to put this on after your skincare routine. So I want to show you. It comes in 30 different colors, I believe. I'm going to type it here because I think that's what it comes in. 30 different colors, which is excellent. Um, this one is the medium, I think this one is the medium neutral. And you can see it has color. And let me, let me show you how I'm just going to come. You apply it like you apply sunscreens or serums. Um, I just use my fingers for this. Uh, it's got great coverage. So if you like a tinted moisturizer, this is for you. Um, D&D will get you 15% i'm going to put my link on these stories for uh this product it is such a great product i have been using it for the last couple of weeks it's lightweight which i love and then the spf is built i shared this pumpkin in stories last night and i said if i found it i would link it i believe i found it it appears to be the same size um the same measurements i should say it is resin and it is only twenty dollars i this is my all-time favorite. So I'm going to link it in these stories. Check it out. Um, and I believe you can pick it up in store. Just an FYI, if you buy it through my link and you pick it up in store, I will still get credit.